Warning, the following game which you are about to view is rated M for Mature due to blood and violence. Viewer discretion is advised. In an era long past, as monarchies weaken, local feudal lords grew in power. The first knights simply protected their lords' domains. However, with the reforms of the late 11th century, knights became protectors of the peace. They valued courage and honor, fighting heretics and heathens in God's name. In this age, one company of knights was said to be invincible, due to two men. Leon Belmont, a courageous man who feared nothing and whose combat abilities were second to none. And Matthias Kronqvist, a genius tactician whose learning made him an exception in a largely illiterate society. They trusted each other completely and they were bound by an old friendship. However, sorrow awaited Matthias upon his return from a victorious campaign. It was news of the sudden death of his beloved wife, Elisabetta. Matthias's grief was profound, and he became bedridden. A year has passed since then. Thanks to Leon's efforts, their company remains proudly undefeated. However, a mysterious army of monsters suddenly appears in Leon's domain. The Crusades are raging in the east, and since the church is focusing on fighting heathens rather than monsters, it has forbidden unauthorized battles. Leon wants permission to sortie, but the church has no intention of granting it. One night, Matthias struggles from his sickbed and tells Leon that the appearance of the monsters is tied to a vampire who has a castle in the forest called Eternal Night and that Leon's betrothed, Sarah, has been kidnapped and brought to that castle. Leon realizes that he must renounce his title to rescue his beloved. The forest is swollen with darkness, as if it would rob away everything, and only moonlight provides a ray of hope. A great legend is about to begin. Okay, first off, that cutscene kind of made Leon look like a girl. So now that that's all settled, hello everyone, this is Tailspin109, and welcome to Let's Play Castlevania Lament of Innocence Blind. I have never played this game before. What's in the options? Since I've never played this game before, I can look it. This has already kind of reminded me of some of the GBA titles. Vibration? Hmm, a vibration. That might be fun. Uh, small, big, jumps. I think I could. Yeah, I like the way this looks. How do I get out? Uh, I guess that does it. Well, that was kind of unsettling. Anyways, yes, one of the few Castlevania games I have not yet played, and I kind of wanted to do a blind run for a while. No name. Well, because I usually do this with Let's Plays that doesn't involve me being called Link. Other people put in names based off of their name. I do this. Yes. They really are trying to act like... Oh, slot one. Yeah, I know. I haven't played yet. Well, guess we're going to deal with... How many files? Ten! Well, isn't that a bit extreme? It's more extreme than Circle of the Moon with its eight files. 
Oh, so it's cutscene time. Oh, he looks more like a boy now. Hmm? What just happened? I felt something strange. Ah, he must really like you. You won't be able to leave now. Who's there? Now, don't get so excited. I'm just an old man. I just came to gawk at the man crazy enough to come here. You don't seem like a monster. <laughs> of course not. What is your name? Leon. Leon. You're not Baron Leon Belmont. Just Leon Belmont. I have given up my title. And you, old man? Pardon me, Lord Belmont. My name is Rinaldo Gandolfi. Lord? You can call me Leon. And I will call you Rinaldo. Don't call me Lord. We're equals now. As you wish. Now, please follow me to my cottage. I want to talk to you. How do you get the title Baron, anyhow? I must say, the lip syncing's actually pretty good. To, like, Maximo, I expected much worse. Wait here a moment. There's something I want to give you. Rinaldo, can I ask you something? What is it? Why are you living in a place like this? I have unfinished business with Walter Bernhard, the master of this forest. Unfinished business? Not worth mentioning. I owe him. Well, I won't ask any more, but you're not in danger living so close to him? It seems eternal life is extremely boring. He enjoys playing at cat and mouse with the hunters that come here. No, of course there's no way that he could ever lose. He thinks that um, my helping hunters makes the game more fun. I see. But what do you mean by there being no way he could lose? Vampires are loved by the night. And this forest is locked in eternal darkness. Oh, great. He has never been defeated. Well, that may be so, but I must go ahead and face him. Did he... take someone precious? Yes, he abducted my betrothed. How did you know that? It's what he always does when he starts the game. You came unarmed. Your courage astonishes me. I do have a weapon, just not my sword. That belongs to the company. And I left it behind when I gave up my title. <laughs> Honest to a fault. I heard that many hunters have met their end here. If that's the case, getting weapons shouldn't be hard. Take this with you. It will help you against monsters. What is this? A whip made with alchemy. It's stronger than any dead man's discarded sword. So that's how we get the whip. Alchemy. I'm not familiar with that word. Neither am I. Not surprising. The field experiments with the principles of God's creation of the world. The only person who truly understands it is Matthias. You know Lord Kronkvist? I have known him longer than you have. His family has a book of secret arts, originally handed down orally. Secret arts? I never knew. Of course not. Only a handful of people in this world know about it. There are some who consider alchemy to be heresy. I see. Are you one of them? No. If you are an acquaintance of Matthias, you are trustworthy. I will use this whip with gratitude.
Put your left hand out. My left hand? Like this? Okay. Don't move now. What did that do? Give my what power? That should do it. You can put it down now. What was that? The gauntlet is enchanted now. A spell? Some enemies' attacks release a special power. If you block them with the gauntlet, you can gather that power. What can I do with the gathered power? You'll be able to use magical relics by releasing that power. Uh-oh. Magical relics? Right. Those who excel in magic can use them. I have cast the spell so that you can use them as well. I have some. You should be able to obtain them in the castle as well. I understand. Right now, this is all I can do for you. Is this gonna be kind of like of Sorrow where enemies have special abilities? Ronaldo. Thank you. Wait a minute. I forgot to tell you something. The door leading to his throne is guarded by five monsters. So I will need to defeat them first. That's right. That's essentially the test you must pass to fight him. What a bothersome... I told you before, to him, this is a game. I realize that, but... If you have troubles, come back here any time. They won't be free, but I'll keep potions on hand for you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, so it kind of does, um, like, what Mega Man games do, or Castlevania 2, Belmont's Revenge. Pick your stage, um, so I start out... Oh, finally, I can start the game. I guess I should try and get... Is I'm going to have to understand combos now. Uh, how do I use the gauntlets? I don't know. Uh, do I want? Do I want to look at the key configurations again? Uh, uh, let's circle sub weapon. Oh, it won't tell me how to use the gauntlet, and my copy did not come with an instruction book either. Uh, and so this is where I'm going to see the names of all the enemies. I'll look up info on bosses when I kill them. For some reason, I love doing that. Uh, well now, there's quite a few skills. Orbs, um... Guess it's like the magical orbs when you kill a boss. Relics, um... Whatever. Equip. Whip of alchemy. The whip or not with that. Okay. Item? Wait. My sub-weapon is a knife, so... Uh... Okay, what is... Oh! This is a... Oh, this is a quick time menu. Okay. Well, um, let's explore, I guess. What else am I going to do? Can I whip a box? And... Okay, so far the only 3D Castlevania games I've played are the 64 ones. I thought I saw a monster. I guess there wouldn't be any monsters over here. Is there... Where, where do I go? This way? I guess so. Oh, a pathway. Great. This is some... Huh? Wait, what's going on? Where am I? Oh, that was a loading screen, I guess. This game is kind of dark. Maybe it's just because I... Oh, it looks brighter now. Yay! Okay, I guess we go in and start hunting. Sarah, wait for me. I'm coming to save you. Hmm. The voice acting's not too bad. Castlevania. Alright. Let the Belmont Legacy begin! I'm inside.
prelude to the dark uh, abyss. Candle! Okay, now I can throw knives, I guess. Um, well, since I never played, I guess I should look everywhere. Do I gain access to a map at any point? Oh, wait. If I follow GBA Cast Mini Games, it's select. Yeah, it's the select button. Alright. Wait, there's two basements. Okay, um. Do I want to go that way? I'm not sh Well, I'm. ran into something. Darn it. Oh, there's ways to. What's this? Um. Yeah, can I whip those? Well, what did I just do? I just wanted to... I just wanted to whip that yellow candle. What's that? Um, can I go this way? A seal formed by foul monsters has been set here. Uh, I guess that's where I started, and... Um, now I just gotta pick a path to go, I guess. I guess, uh, I guess I'll go this way. This is interesting. <gasps> More candles! How do I block with the gauntlet, though? I guess the R1. What's this? Um, this is, now I guess there's no difference between the R1 and R2 buttons, I just gotta learn this as I go, I have a knife, uh, th there's another door, where? I guess I can't open it, oh well, why is it all, huh? Head for the exit. During a jump, Leon can jump a second time. Okay. Am I in a new area? I don't even know where I am. Uh, let's see. Uh, what's what's this? Event item. Marker stone one. You can place a mark on the world map when this magical stone that shines red. Huh? Uh... Switch la, la, la L2 to set marker. Okay. Uh, return. Uh, oh, jeez. I wish I had an instruction book. Stock up on. Was that all the candles? I guess. No, there was another one. Now, um... Okay, where can I... Oh, right, platform. Yay! Ooh, can I whip those? Okay, what, what can I and can't I whip? What, what's this? Oh, a potion! Yay! So, why do small hearts give me two? Not that I'm complaining, but it seems a little... I guess this is... Take advantage of places you can traverse by hooking the whip and swinging? How much is there? You know, for a hub area, this is kind of big. Any other... Can't... No, there's only one exit. Okay. Hey, what's this? Serum. Whatever that does. Is there, like, a way to put items there? To reorder? I have zero clues. Uh, Stasis. Cursed stone poison percentages? What the heck? I'm so confused. Uh, is this where I go? When do I get to an actual...
Oh, enemies! Okay. Finally, some monsters! Ah, oh, whoa! I learned a new technique by killing a few measly skeletons. Guard button and X. Move quickly in the direction of the left analog stick to possibly avoid attacks. Hey. Well, let me try that. Oh, that's cool! I want more hearts. How many can I carry? Uh, 80. Probably won't be using the knife for a while, so why not? And again, the knife's usually a pretty pointless sub-weapon, which only makes sense that I'm gonna start with it. Guess I go in here and do what? Take advantage of places you can traverse by hooking the whip and swinging. Oh, that's just great. Well, I guess I need the tutorial. Anything else? Oh, what's down there? I want to get what's down here. An uncursed potion. If only I was... Hmm. This is going to take a bit of getting used to. There is so much to learn. All right, let's try swinging. I missed. How do I do this? Oh! Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I did it. What, what? A magical... Someone tell me what this does. If you... Oh! I'll save it. Say, are there... Do I have to find save rooms in this game like in the... Met other Metroidvania games? Not sure if I should... Sir, that happened. Uh, what? You can accumulate MP if you guard against an enemy special attack. MP will be consumed when using relics. But I don't have a relic. Uh. Uh. Oh, I got magic. Uh. Uh. Oh, this is, what's this? Relics. Varog statue. Statue in the image of the fire god. Flame sprout in your footsteps. Press circle while guarding to activate relic. Press again to deactivate. Uh, um. Oh, uh. oh, I killed it. Hooray. Okay, I'm almost full on hearts. Now, if I didn't use that one knife, I would be. Now, where am I? I'm back at the beginning? Okay, um... I did something. Oh, money! I'm finally getting money! This must be because I'm finally full of hearts. Do you mean I have to be full of hearts every time I want to get money? Then again, that is how it works in Aria of Sorrow. Uh, so pick up some stuff. Um, this is starting to run a little long. Well, if I have to do another whole section, perhaps I'll just have to uh, call it a video here, I guess. So I guess next time we are going to do more training because I have no idea what to expect. Until then, this has been Tales for 109. Have a nice day.